something that has really helped me in my life <laughs> is to ask other people's higher selves if it is going to be in alignment with them for me to give them advice. <laughs> okay, it has saved me so much time and energy, okay, and fuel in my own life for, for the things that I want to do because not everybody wants your advice, okay? <laughs> like, like, you think that they do because you have solid advice that you have applied to your life and it has been very helpful maybe for yourself and other people, but everybody has to decide what they want to happen in their life experience. If somebody has a very open energy field that's open to uh, new concepts and ideas and perceptions and who generally respect you, <laughs> they are going to listen to what you have to say irregardless of if they agree with it or not. Okay, like they just love expanding themselves, even if it's not in a spiritual context. And then there's another type of people <laughs> that just want to, again, kind of be in your light and you temporarily make them feel better, but they're actually draining your energy. Okay, they're trauma dumping on you. They're complaining about everything. They're being uh, very much involved in drama and they just want you to put a band-aid on whatever's happening in their life. And then the next time you talk to them, they're going through the exact same thing and have not implemented any of the things that you have suggested and are not taking any action steps on their their own in order to create forward movement and this is not coming from a judgmental place because I have been that person okay I'm sure you have been that person at some point in your life but people sometimes need to have their aw their own aha moments sometimes they do need to hit rock bottom I had to do that in my life <laughs> <laughs> you may have as well, where we don't want to hear anything else that anybody else is saying, and we think everything outside of us is what is uh, affecting us in life, and then we don't have any power, uh, falling into like victimization mode sometimes, uh, just feeling very like hopeless. And you have to have this one day, not even one day, sometimes it's multiple days where <laughs> you wake up and you say, you know what, I am going to take charge of my life. I am going to take action steps every day. I'm going to figure out how to heal myself. I'm going to figure out how to be more open and receptive in my relationships and in my communication um, into advice and knowledge and wisdom that is given to me. Just because you can heal others does not mean that it is your place to do so. <laughs> Okay. Some people need to learn their own lessons. I know that there have been so many times where um, somebody had said something to me with some advice and I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. And then all of a sudden, I, like I have that own conceptual awareness on my own. And you know, they were kind of still a part of it because they were planting seeds, which super blessed for that. And maybe that's what you're doing with some people in your life too. But I had to come to that realization <laughs> within myself in order to cultivate and create permanent change. So when I'm talking to somebody, I will, and, and this is not something that you have to even get a necessarily a yes answer in your mind. Okay. This is something that you can feel with your body. Okay. I know <laughs> that you can feel whether something feels good or something feels bad. Sometimes we're not really listening to our intuition and we are overriding that and saying, oh no, I'm being illogical or, you know, I'm overthinking this or overcomplicating this when most of the time, no, it's your body telling you what's up. <laughs> okay. It's like, hey, <laughs> we need to go towards something or stay away from something. Okay. So we need to uh, learn more so like how to trust our body. And, and I will say too, there was different chapters in my life where um, a lot of my own personal projections were clouding my intuition. <laughs> where I, I, I thought it was my intuition talking to me, but it was trauma and PTSD and programming that I was speaking and taking actions from. But even when that was happening, it didn't feel good in my body, the things that I was doing. <laughs> now, uh, looking back, every time that I felt like really lit up and excited or felt like a warm, loving energy within me, that was always my intuition. Always, always, always. <laughs> if you feel anything other that is very constricting and makes you feel unsafe or makes you feel like unsure about something, babe, that's the vibes. <laughs> it's trying to tell you that something is off. Back to what we were saying before. <laughs> so when I'm having conversations with uh, friends or family members for a moment when, when they start pulling at my energy a little bit, Okay, and, and I can sense that they're wanting me to help them. 
<laughs> okay? I still need to use my intuition discernment of how open is this person, okay? Because if you were trying to dig in with someone about things that are going on in their life, it does take energy. <laughs> it, it does. Even when I am talking to my soul tribe members or I'm talking to clients, like it takes a lot of mental processing in order to help them see the next steps in their life. And it takes a lot of spiritual energy to read them and, and to look at their behavioral patterns. Like it does take energy. It doesn't take the same amount of energy though when somebody is open <laughs> and willing to receive what you have to say. If you have someone who is very closed and has a lot of walls and barriers and guards up or programming PTSD and trauma and they're not working on their stuff. Oh my gosh, it can be so emotionally draining. I know you have all, uh, you, I know you have been around a person like that before, okay? As an empath and a light worker. And so we need to do a vibe check, okay? This can be with your parents, your caretakers, your aunts and uncles, whomever. And just in your heart, in your mind, you don't even have to close your eyes, okay? You can just say to self, hey, this person's higher self, should I give them advice right now? And you will get a good feeling in your body or you will get a bad feeling in your body, <laughs> okay? If you get a bad feeling, and bad, you know what I mean? But it's a, a feeling saying, hey, mm -mm. <laughs> okay? It's okay to say, wow, that's wild. It's okay to say, I'm sorry that's going on in your life right now. That's it, period. You do not have to dig in with everybody. Not everybody is deserving of your, um, the light that it takes and the energy that it takes to dig in with them. And when I say deserving, everybody is deserving of love and compassion and empathy. What I'm talking about is utilizing your channeling gifts and your empathic gifts, oh my gosh, and your behavioral pattern recognition gifts. Again, that takes so much energy with people that have a wall and resistance and guards up, okay? And that don't actually want to hear what you have to say, <laughs> okay? You are outpouring energy into persons that it's not doing anything for you or them. Like I said, when I'm around people who are more open and uh, willing to hear the words and guidance that I have, it does take some energy, but I never feel drained. I feel lifted up. I feel inspired. I feel supported because one, I probably need to hear whatever I'm saying as well, but it brings me so much joy to help people course correct in their life and to bring more joy and happiness and, and feelings of magic and that kind of just help them like reconnect back into themselves and reconnect back into life. Uh, but again, it takes a little bit of energy. <laughs> so that's why you have to make sure that your cup is full before you are out here trying to support a whole bunch of people, okay? And that you have people that are pouring into you as well. It cannot be a one-way street. Okay, that, that's not equal energy exchange. When you have equal energy exchange, there's just this beautiful flow <laughs> between you or, or the group of persons that you're with and you're all kind of on the same wavelength and you're just very open and expressive. But we only have so much time and energy on this planet, okay? <laughs> like in this incarnation that you are living, right? The lenses in which you are looking through, like you're human. <laughs> and so we need to be reserving that for people who are in more resonance with our wavelength and that are on similar paths and uh, similar vibrations and frequencies.